first stop on the tour is the mechanical room for Alderman Hall. The old systems that were falling apart, they were wasting energy and they were causing lots of failures that required repairs and very expensive repairs at that. This is the central energy plant. Inside here is the heating and cooling system for the water supply to 10 different buildings. Prior to the upgrade, this type of equipment was needed in each building. By having a central plant, the school saves on system maintenance and heating and cooling the water. This plant actually was underutilized by about 50 percent and by digging the, the underground piping and hooking up the buildings, we were able to actually load this plant more up to its full capacity and take advantage of the investment that was already here. Lighting up Randall Library is also now more efficient. UNCW is the first campus in the UNC system to use daylighting as an energy saving strategy. We are able to put in 80 solar tubes to collect free sunshine and illuminate the second floor. And sensors installed in many of the buildings control when the lights come on and off and the temperature of the building. This saves us an awful lot of money, uh, really significant savings over the years, and it's the right thing to do by making us much more sustainable. UNCW financed the more than $4 million in upgrades. Brady Services guarantees at least $300,000 in annual energy savings, which will be used to pay for the project. At the end of the 19-year agreement, the upgrades will save the state more than $8 million. Each year, the savings are measured. If for some reason we do not meet the, the energy savings, basically, um, Train Comfort Solutions writes us a check for the difference. For the university, it's a guaranteed way of going green and saving some green in tough economic times. In Wilmington, Brianna Walden, News 14, Carolina.